Good morning. Welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. I know it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, we've just been really busy. We've been playing a lot of pickleball, and truly that takes up most of our mornings, which I know sounds crazy, but it, we can be out there for like three hours, seriously. Um, it's so much fun, and we just learned how to play here, It's, but we're loving it, plus it's activity. Um, okay, so having said that, thank you for your grace with me having been MIA for a while. I'm hoping to kind of get back on track here. You know, it, it's, it's just its own beast with, um, oh no creating in the RV. I'll tell you why I said oh no in just a minute. Um, anyway, it's its own thing with creating in the RV, but um, I have a little bit, like I've worked in my um, my For Me journal some. I'll show you kind of what I did. If I can find the pages. And I don't know how long this video will be because we definitely have internet issues here and I don't know how long it will take to upload this video. Um, but anyway, so this was a page I made at the Huntington Beach, uh, park, and I used the bag from the gift shop, like look into this, this is a birding festival that's in the spring, and then I have, you know, the sticker that I bought, I was going to put it on my bike, but I got two, and I didn't want to have two on my bike from there, but anyway, I just have like all the information from the park on that page, um, then of course Savannah, we did so much more that I, um, made a big page of this so you know my bag with stuff in there excuse my throat and then i have these which i haven't put in yet this is the most beautiful cathedral i've ever seen in my life there um anyway so i have worked on that just a little bit and then um i do have the ephemera and Amber prompts i have had them since before i left barbara was very gracious and shared them with me again this year um i have not been working on them but I haven't had my stuff out <clears throat> but I'm going to um, I have some ideas I've been watching their videos and they both Barbara and Louisa have both done some amazing things but I have to get busy because one of these prompts is actually gonna be a Christmas card for my friend I said oh no because I only have two of the left side of the tree and somehow I have four of the right side so if somebody could explain to me how I did that watch I'm gonna go home and the other two are gonna be on the table right so this is where these come into play you guys remember when I was at home and I was like trying to get some of these done so um, <clears throat> I have a card base here and I'm going to make two of these one of these is gonna be in my journal because I want one of these it's gonna be so much fun but my friend and I have a love of skeletons, and so her Christmas card is also going to be a spin off of this prompt. So let me get, oh, I guess I should tell you the prompt, shouldn't I? <laughs> Halloween meets Christmas, and this is prompt number 11 on the Defemorem Rember. So um, today is not the 11th. We're not there yet, but I have to get this made so I can get her stuff in the mail. So let me gather what I think I'm going to want to use, and I'll be back when we're ready to start assembling. I'm trying to get my arm right and it's not so again I apologize if the filming is a little wonky so I do have a note here um, tree on the edge of the page is a flip a fireplace mantle with stockings tree covered in bats and web on the mantle so those are the things I need to gather and I'm glad I was brainstorming and left myself a note because I have just begun to have my coffee I'm hoping I can go play pickleball this morning We'll see. I don't think my back's going to tolerate it. It's, it's, it's mad at me right now. So I'm going to gather and come back. Okay, I'm back. And it's been a long time. Um, it has taken me oh, a good two and a half hours to collect, gather, stamp, cut. And I'm still not done cutting. But I wanted to um, just kind of come in and say this is kind of where I am. Excuse the noise, they're doing some work in the campground next door. I can't help it. Hopefully it doesn't translate as too loud for you. Um, I, I believe I already said I was making two of these, one for me and one for my friend's birth or Christmas card. It was gonna be a birthday card, but oh, <laughs> I didn't get it done in time. Oh, well, what did I do with it? Um, anyway, okay, I lost something already. It's amazing to me how fast I can make a mess and how fast I can lose things, I swear. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, goodness. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. It's okay. Um, yep, don't know what I was saying. All right, but moving on, because I literally can't remember what I was just saying. But that's how it is. You know, you get out of your groove. Like, my one friend, she was like, oh, my gosh, you are going to have such a hard time. Like, you're going to have to really press your brain to um, get back in the groove and get stuff made. And I'm like, oh, I know. It's been so long since I've done it. And um, it'll be okay, though. So, basically, what I think is going to happen is, by the way, these are crazy to clean out and um the one i had the, the two for the one side that i wanted right they're probably way out of screen but i could not get that to clean out like it didn't cut clean so i thought well maybe i can decorate it and hide some of the blemishes or flip another one over but the way it cuts it has all this really great detail in it and i didn't want to lose that so I'm hoping this can be opposite. And the reason that I wanted them the same direction is because of this little dude. But, you know, we, we have to adapt and overcome. I mean, I'm not at home. I don't have the die with me. I was trying to prep and cut them and I don't even know what happened. But I think that when I cut this one, both of the pieces cut wrong, so I cut again. Um, but I obviously grabbed the wrong one to bring with me regardless it is what it is okay so these are going to be the card fronts and um i have to do something a little different with him i i don't know maybe he can be like hanging a stocking on the chimney or something i don't know and that stocking is a little small and i don't have a little stocking die cut so i was just free handing them and I'm not an artist. I mean, not in that sense. So we're just going to have to go with it and hope it all works out. So what I do have, so like this one is going to be a card front. So I'm going to um, have to ink around that. Oh, I probably should cut that a little smaller and maybe mat it with red. Maybe that's what I'll do. But I wanted to have as much of the surface area as I could to work with. Um, and I'm still gathering my thoughts and working this out. So I did bring with me some wood grain and some um, brick paper because I wanted to build like a um, almost like a mantle or something. But I have to figure that out because I don't have the ability to actually create a fire in the fireplace. So I don't know how that's going to work unless I just build a chimney up. But see, that's not going to make sense without the fireplace, right? So never mind on that. So that means I don't need stockings. That means I'm back to the drawing board here with space. So let me do some more thinking and um, cut this one down for the card front because I need, I do want to mount that with a red back. I think that would be really pretty behind it. Yep, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that, get that cut, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have lots of elements and pieces, parts going on here. Um, and I am like, so I'm doing one for the card and one just to go in my journal as a piece of the Defemoramba that I'm doing. And at this rate, I'm never going to get done, I swear. So what I'm thinking is, like this is going to completely cover this white base. And it seems kind of silly to back it on there. But because I'm creating like a brick wall, thank you Rhoda for the inspiration from your Halloween journal for the brick wall. And then um, my tree is going to go there, right? But I needed the floor so the dog could be like standing on the floor watch him. And he's going to be decorating so he needed to be on the floor too. And then we're going to have a mantle back here. Um, like with stockings or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe my stocking will be okay. I mean, that one looks funny because, but I thought maybe it was too small but maybe it's not. Um... But I don't think I actually want stockings because I have to remind myself this is a Halloween Christmas, right? And so maybe we don't have the stocking and maybe we just have like a grody spider in a web on the mantle. I think that might be kind of cool. 
And then this is going to have be decorated with like bats and bones, I think. And then I am going to look at my bling. I'm almost certain I don't have red bling. But, oh, 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 oh. But I have red stickles. So we can put some red on the tree with the stickles. I think we're going to have bats and bones on the tree with some red bulbous thingies. We're going to have a spider web on the mantle and have a cotton ball. And that's how we're going to create like a web for the spider. Oh my gosh, that is going to be like so cute. And I think that probably this kitty is going to be on the mantle as well. Like hanging out. Like, hey, what you doing? Because, you know, cats jump on everything they're not supposed to be on. And I have a little red bow somewhere. This is so hard to get a hold of, you guys. Um, if I can get a hold of it. Oh my gosh. You know what I didn't bring with me? It was that little sticky pokey tool thing that I don't even like. But, man. Maybe I should have brought it. The kitty is wearing a red bow for Christmas. So that is where I am. So what I'm going to do is start gluing the elements down. And I'll come back to it. I will tell you that this card is a different size than the piece that I'm making for my journal. Um, and there's no really rhyme or reason to that. I just thought I would do... Mine's four and three quarter by six and a quarter because I thought that would fill my page a little bit in my journal. So I'm going to, oh, and then I, I think this is cute and clever. I don't know. Maybe it's not. In that Stampin' Up! set, it says eat, shriek, and be scary. But I'm like eat, shriek, and be merry for a Christmas element. And then that's red on the kitty's bow, red on the phrase. And then um, I'll get all this glued down get my elements on, get the tree decorated. I mean, how cute is this? There's little ghosts in here and little spider webs in here. My friend has the most fun stuff, I swear. Um, anyway, so get some stuff on here, get it decorated. I have a variety of bats, um, so that should be fun. We are gonna need a Christmas tree topper. And then I'm wondering, like, do we even need a stocking? I think it gets lost. So I think I'm not going to do the stocking. However, I think I want to do just a little bit more to the back. Maybe I'm going to ink around the brick with some black for sure to be like soot. And this is going to be, we're going to pretend like this is a double-sided chimney. So on this side, it's just the chimney, but we have a mantle. On the other side is where the fireplace is because I just, I, I just can't do a fireplace. I, I don't have the brain power for that right now to even try to figure out how to do one. I did have another little skeleton that I was going to have like sitting on the ground, but I'm running out of room. But I think that it's going to be really cute when it's done. And I hope there's two of these spiders. Oh, whew, there's two spiders. So thank you friend for the second spider. Otherwise I was going to have to come up with something different. Um, so let's get, maybe we'll use a pumpkin as the tree topper. I think that might be kind of cute, but that's orange. So we'll see. Okay, so let me start gluing. This is going to be a while, um, and I don't want to go very long in the video, so I'll just come back and show you the final result. Okay, guys, I'm totally, totally in love with these cards. Okay, so this one's mine, and I don't have the topper on because he's not done decorating the tree yet. And I feel like I need something here, but I don't know what, and I don't want to mess with it. Sorry, I'm trying to not be in the shadow. But you can see I gave, of course, a little bit of glacier paste to my bats. And I have some red stickles for berries. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to add some green stickles to the tree just to give it a little bit more element. And then I'm still, I'm like still on the fence about the stocking. And if it, if it, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So tell me what you think about the stocking. I may add it. So that's the one for my, um journal um then this is the card so i love it too i love it so much but see the pumpkin is the tree topper but i didn't have room at the top of mine for the tree topper so he's just not done yet decorating it and oh goodness i'm having a hard time with where my phone is and finding my my spot don't stick your finger in the stickle jody anyway um so those are the two pieces and she's going to see her card now because I know she watches my channel. And I'm sorry that I'm ruining the surprise. Um, oh, I know what I needed to do. I still needed to shadow like under the dog a little bit. Should have done it before I put him on. 
But anyway, so just adding a little bit of darkness where the dog is creating a shadow on the floor, although he's a skeleton. So does he really create a shadow? So anyway, thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Just as an add on note, I was adding some of the green stickles to this and now I wish I had embossed the whole darn tree for the sparkles. I don't have the patience or the hand strength to go over the whole thing with this. But note to self, if I do this again, emboss the tree because that would have really brought it to life and added a lot of sparkle to this. It does need something, but I don't know what it needs. So tell me what you guys think in the comments, what I'm missing here. Again, it's just like coming back and being out of the groove, but I'm having so much fun with this. And I think I did pretty well for having not created in like a month. So anyway, um, well, not really a whole month, but close enough for this kind of creation. But now I have all these bones and bits over here. So much fun. So I'll be using those again in a project, I'm sure, because I love this. And the skeletons are just fun for any holiday. So, okay. Bye.